Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this sampath you watching sampath sfx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews you can see here this is a spark os 13.4 surya unofficial build dates and android version is 13 5th january 2023 and the kernel user is 4.14.3 not 2 and january 18th is the latest available build this is i have been using this for couple of hours now let's see and i also running the cp throttling test you can see the minimum is 102 and the average 174 and maximum is 187 and this is a 100 thread test guys not 10 or 20 this is 100 thread test you can see it's a total to 87 percent of its max performance which is fine but at the end there is this minimum is very low and the maximum could have been better but this is just an app review but let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this and also shown every time this charging support or not but here i took a screenshot as you can see it is not going to charge in 33 watt charging i don't know what's these days happening with this particular roms it's not getting charged using this 33 watt charger i mean it's not getting full potential of that 33 watt it's just charging in 10 watts that you need to keep in mind i think many of the people will leave this video right now itself because fast charging is very essential that is simply missing here and this is the settings panel you can see here it's smooth the ui is always smooth enough and it has very good battery life as usual and you get the here customization like themes and again if i go into fireworks as you can see lock screen customizations and status bar gestures and in miscellaneous settings you get these options like enable high fps count in games and unlimited photo storage those are available here and power menu advanced start button those things you can enable or disable from here and moving into actual settings like display you get dark theme option here and uh, you won't get any pitch black condition here let's check in the fireworks is there any options let's go into fireworks and select themes and monet engine custom color picker it's not related to that okay oops custom theme we will demon it now it will be turned into dark as you can see that is very essential and required in this custom roms which is very good in my opinion as you can see on the screen let me disable that and wallpaper zoom effect night light features again you can schedule it out and intensity also you can reduce colors you get three options minimum maximum low power refresh rate it doesn't have adaptive refresh rate here just 60 90 and 120 tap to wake is given Become plug full screen apps if certain apps are not playing in the full screen you can make it out the app refresh rate is given amp and display is also given and battery as usual as you can see one hour 43 minutes but i recharged it again to test whether it supports fast charging or not it is not going to support 33 watt charging but anyhow this is how the rom you can add this kind of icons here you can check out here the battery life is as usual it's very good here i can rate it top two position in terms of battery life in poco x slash nfc custom roms this is one of the best you can say on the adaptive battery you can see here this kind of options you get in the battery settings advanced like uh, extreme battery saver is also given if you want you can turn it on and sound and vibration again basic settings you get clear speaker option and direct sound enhancer even the hi-fi audio system and direct like headphone type and preset settings can be done from here volume steps are given here some of the other settings you can see on the screen media settings smart pause adaptive sound again it reverts back to accessibility menu this how the options have been given vibration and haptics again you can enable or disable from here if i move into accessibility here again it's a handy feature as you can see just enable that without actually using the volume buttons you can increase or decrease and even you can take the screenshot and you can without pulling the notification toggle you can use the quick settings panel that's how it is as you can see this is a handy feature you must definitely try in any android 13 aos pair oss based custom rom switch access again these things you need to be utilized in this custom rom audio description is also given location privacy settings all are working fine in terms of security you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock if i go into more security app even app locker is also included here which is good thing in my opinion let's show you the fingerprint unlock which is very quick in my opinion as you can see just tap it's get unlocked again just get unlocked with single tap and let's show you the face unlock 
and by the way if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like as you can see the face unlock is also very very quick in my opinion and internet connection i have 100 mbps fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 sometimes 80 also which is working fine even with mobile data the carrier aggregation support those things are working fine no problem regarding that moving into benchmark results like geekbench let me show you here the single score and multi score performance are sort 560 and 1565 and linux 4.14.302 is the kernel used in this particular rom fm radio is pre-installed here and i entered the benchmark results you can see as you can see 360 and 620 is the score here and temperature raise was 0.4 degrees Celsius and one percentage of battery has been dropped this you clearly see here how would be the battery efficient this particular ROM it is a very good battery efficient ROM and you would expect like 10 to 12 hours of screen time I am speaking about the Karna I mean the X-ray Indian variant which has 6000 mAh battery it will give you 10 to 12 hours it depends upon your usage pattern also if you try to play PUBG mobile continuously around 5-6 hours it will drain to 0% that you need to keep in mind and DRM information here again you can see level 1 certification such that you can watch all the OTT applications in high definition resolution that's not the problem in this custom rom the spark OS latest version for poco x slash nfc and camera application you get google go camera basic things and all you can do it out as you can see and even videos also you can take it out all those things going to work fine if you want you can use advanced jcam ports are available for poco x my favorite build is arno build if you want you can use greatness camera or some other like ng cam other builds are available for poco x you can try it out all those things going to work in this particular room safety net status in order to use the payment applications check it out it will get passed and play store certification is also certified with this you can make it just you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use it out maps are also working fine now moving into dialer here let me increase the volume yes this is the dialer you get here and this is the volume panel as you can see direct video call feature is available here and there is even a call recording feature but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call this how the overall experience of this ui it's good and this is a quick settings panel as you can see it's very very smooth in terms of performance it's not bad as you can see this is the app tour and this is the home screen you get and this is all the settings you get home settings this is the launcher you get with this particular rom and let's see pubg mobile how it handles and the particular rom i hope you guys can see here this is some new mode here and i'll increase it to 90 fps now by default it wasn't there here again 90 fps okay it was a victory okay round one now round two this is new mode i haven't played before that and you can judge how it handles actually It is fine, the gameplay is smooth here with respect to 90 FPS. I got killed here that's how it is it's smooth the gameplay is fine here I'll come back here and that's all guys if you want to use it as a daily driver go ahead and flash it out but there's the one bug simply missing here the fast charging support I don't know what's the problem here and into system into gestures if you want to see here 
as you can see you get system navigation the both the options has been given here pill length and pill radius as you can see and some of the other options has also been given here this is very smooth and i can't say it's exactly smooth as some of the like evolution x or other roms like carvers are like that but as of now with android 13 build it is smooth enough and the battery life is very very good you have seen in the android benchmark results also it was just one percent has been dropped during the entire testing of android benchmark that is not going to happen in any of the roms that's all guys in this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now